the book, okay? I know you don't have the book, but it says, show that, so here, it tells me a number five. Here's one line. And here's the other line, 3x minus 6y minus 7 equals naught. And the question is, show these lines are parallel. Uh, no, you can just listen, right? Okay, so show these lines are parallel. Uh, listen for the moment, I might get you to write it in a minute, okay? But listen for the moment. What do we know about parallel lines? They never come yeah, they never meet. So what's the story with the slopes? What's the story with the slopes? Parallel lines have the same slope, don't they? We learned that back a few sections ago. So parallel lines have the same slope. So how do we prove lines are parallel, right? We get the slope, you know, the way we to show these lines are parallel. So if we get the slope of the first line and we get the slope of the second line, what should happen? You should get the same answer, shouldn't we? Right, okay, because that word show means they are parallel, prove they're parallel. So we're going to get the slope of one and we're going to go to the slope of the second and we're going to uh, show that they're the, the same answer, okay? So how do I get the slope of the line? I rearrange it so I have just spent the last eight questions doing it. Rearrange it so I have y equal to everything else. Isn't that what I do? Right, so I'm going to take the first line. x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. So I want y on its own on the left equal to everything on the right. Okay? So, um, what's the first line read? Minus 2y equals minus x minus 1. Good. What do I divide everything by? Minus 2. There's a minus 2 stuck to the y, so I have to unstick it. So divide everything by minus 2. Now, so they cancel. Now, just be careful here. You know, the way I normally put the fraction out in the front, right? Remember, there's a 1 here, isn't there? That's minus 1x, isn't it? So what's the fraction? A minus divided by minus is a plus. And what's the fraction? A half, 1 over 2, isn't it? Okay, is that all right? So, sorry, that should be a minus 1. So you just get rid of the x? Yeah, no, the x is still there. You just... I'll get rid of it in a minute when I'm calling out what the slope is. Now, here, a minus divided by a minus is a plus, and I have plus a half there. Is that okay? But I actually don't need that information. So what do I know about the slope of this line, please? What's the slope of this line? A half. Isn't that right? Okay. That's that line done. I now have to do the other line. So the other line is 3x minus 6y minus 7 equals 0. Isn't that right? Okay, so I need to rearrange it. So, what's, in the, what's the first line? Minus 6y equals minus 3x plus 7. Isn't that right? Now what do I do? Divide everything by minus 6. So divide minus 6, minus 6, minus 6. Agreed? So they cancel and you end up with y. Now here a minus divided by a minus is a plus. And how will I write that fraction? It's just 3 over 6, isn't it? X. Agreed? And here a plus divided by a minus is a minus 7 over 6. That's not important in this question, but it might be in other questions you have to do. Okay, what's the slope of this line? What's the slope of this line? 3 over 6, which cancels down to be what? A half. So look at the slopes. They're the same. So we got the same slope. So what does that mean? The lines are parallel. Okay? So will you put this into your notes copy? And how many examples? What example was I on yesterday? So I did 3. Is that right? So will we call this example 4? And stick it into your notes, please. 
shall call it example four and put into your notes. How much space should I keep for last night's notes? How much space should you keep for last night's notes? I don't know. How many how much notes did we write yesterday? Uh, page. Yeah. Big page? Yeah, a page. Quarter geometry of the line. Here, third years, isn't she? Is there anyone in um, Megan Hurston's class? Are you in Megan's class? Yeah. Will you be with her next class? Yeah. Would you be able to tell her to pop down to the computer room to me for two minutes? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll be in the computer room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. I just want her for 10 seconds is all I want her for. Yeah. Right. Are we good? bit in the shade there, can you see? No, hang on, I don't know why that is. Better? Yeah. Right, are we good? Example six, so. So here I have two lines, two X plus three Y minus four equals zero. And the other line is three X 
minus where am I? Minus two y plus one equals zero. And this time the the question is show these lines are perpendicular. So not parallel, perpendicular. So what does perpendicular mean? Perpendicular means they're going to meet at a right angle, isn't that right? Okay. So perpendicular lines is where they cross, they're going to make four right angles. Agreed? That's what perpendicular means. Okay. Right. And does anyone remember what the, how do I prove lines are perpendicular? It's something got to do with slope as well. So if I get the slope of the first one, and I multiply it by the slope of the second one, so if I get the slope of the first line, I'll call that M1. And if I multiply it by the slope of the second line, that's M2. Does anyone remember what the magic number is? Minus one. If I get minus one, they're perpendicular. If I get any other number, they are not perpendicular. Okay, is that right? So I have to get the slope of the first line, the slope of the second line, multiply your two answers, and if you get minus one, they're perpendicular. If you get any other number, they are not perpendicular. Is that okay? Right, so the first line is 2x plus 3y minus 4 equals 0. So I need to get the slope of that. So what's the first thing I write down, please? 3y equals minus 2x plus 4. What will I do now? Divide everything by 3. The three stuck to the y, so I'm going to divide everything by three, and they cancel, and I'll get y is equal to what's the fraction here? Minus two thirds x plus four over three. Isn't that right? Okay. What's the slope of that line, please? What's the slope of that line? Minus two thirds. Isn't that right? Okay, so then I take my second line. So my second line is 3x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. So I want y equal to everything else. So what's my first line read? Minus 2y equals minus 3x minus 1. What do I divide everything by? Minus 2. So they cancel, I end up with a y. Here, a minus divided by a minus is a plus, and I'm just, so I'm not writing down the plus, because remember, a plus is understood to be there. Okay, so plus three over two, I'm just putting the fraction at the front with the x. And then a minus divided by a minus is a plus, that's a plus a half. Is that all right? Sorry, that's a minus one there. Okay. Okay, what's the slope of this line? 3 over 2. So what I do is I take the slope of this line and I multiply it. Sorry, I have to. I multiply it by the slope of the second line into my calculator with that and I get minus 1. And that's the magic number. So what does that mean? The lines are perpendicular. So the lines are perpendicular. Is that okay? So homework, are you ready? They're all um, something similar to this, okay? Uh, show the lines are parallel, show they're perpendicular, etc. So remember, parallel lines have the same slope perpendicular lines you multiply their slopes and you get minus one 